Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lexi, and I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys that I've been saving for a few weeks now. So I want to say I know it's been a few weeks since I had a video out, um, and at the beginning of January I was doing videos like every single day, so I kind of just took a break for a bit, but I have been sharing some Dollar Tree Valentine's Day hauls, and I got some more to share with you guys today that I've been picking up and saving. So let's just get into it. Um, first thing I wanted to update was what I'm wearing on my lips, which is this lipstick that I hauled, I think, in my last Dollar Tree haul video. It came with a lip liner, um, and I haven't been wearing the lip liner, but I have been wearing the lipstick a lot more, so I think it's a really pretty color. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, so just wanted to share that. That was a good find from Dollar Tree. And then as you can see here, I've got some flowers. I've, I've hauled flowers already this year, and I got some more because I am doing an arrangement for someone else for Valentine's Day, so I just, you know, grabbed some different colored roses to put together for that. And I've got a whole little basket full of goodies here. Um, I know I said I was going to do like a whole Valentine's Day collection video, but I have hauled a lot of stuff this year in 2022. So most of it's new and I have already started decorating for Valentine's Day so I'm going to show you my decorations and that's kind of going to be like my collection. But I've got some socks here so these are llama fuzzy socks and then these aren't fuzzy but they have sparkly hearts on them. Um, a lot of this stuff is going to be for my Valentine's Day party which is coming up in less than a week here this Saturday. Um, I can't believe it's already almost Valentine's Day, so I'm probably pretty late on this video. But anyways, I'm going to be doing a party, and we've got some games. I've got bingo that we're going to play, so these are kind of just prizes for bingo. I thought that would be fun. I got a tech case. That's Galaxy. Um, and they're all different age ranges, so I was trying to get different prizes, so most of this is for that. They did have this Maybelline lipstick in the... Vivid Matte Collection. This is the shade Twisted Tulip. They had a lot of these and it looks like a really pretty pink color for Valentine's Day. I got some more of these Junior Mints because I really like them and they're cute little hearts with red and white filling. Um, and I might also do like a charcuterie board type thing for the party so I think that is going to be a separate video. I do want to share that with you guys. Um, I got some more of these Bubble Tea Oil uh, like bath oils that dissolve in there. Um, so I've hauled these before. I just picked up some more. And some chocolate. Two for a dollar twenty-five. Everything's a dollar twenty-five now at my Dollar Tree. And then the three Ferrero shares, which I think is still a good deal, um, if I remember. I think I did the math and compared it to some other stores and it's still generally a, a good deal or the same as other places. Um, not sure about the lint chocolate but it was just kind of convenient to pick up a little pack of that for this purpose. I got one of these mini word searches because I was looking for something cute and small. And I like the that it has designs on it. And I think it had some coloring pages in it as well. That could be wrong. Alright, so the, I have been getting a lot of CDs at my Dollar Tree. Um, they had a Valentine's Day collection one, so I got one, and it's just different songs. I don't know if you can read it on the back, but it looks like it's all instrumentals, and there's two discs in here, so I kind of got it as a fun little prize for bingo, I thought the packaging was pretty. But yeah, they've been getting a lot of CDs in at my Dollar Trees. I got a pack of these necklaces. There are four pieces in here for $1.25 and then I got another one of these so now I have two because I thought I could do more if I had two of them. They're just these wood hearts and I haven't decided yet how I'm going to paint them but I'll probably just do like a red one and a pink one that would go best in my decor. And I do have a lot of stuff up already, but I do plan on doing a video and showing you guys everything I have out 
for Valentine's Day so far. Uh, I picked up another sign because I thought this was really cute with the bike and the you know pink checkered stuff and the words. I liked it and I thought I could use another sign to go downstairs for the party. Then I just got um, some candy and some cute things I could do for the party. So this is Starburst Jello, pink Jello. I thought that'd be really cute just for like a Valentine's Day party that I'm doing. I could even put strawberries in there if I want to do like pink and red something. Pixie sticks, because I actually like pixie sticks. I don't know why I don't like a lot of candy, but sometimes pixie sticks are good. So I feel like people will like them. I can put those out as well as some Twizzlers for my little charcuterie board thing I'm planning on doing for Valentine's Day. Okay, so next I have this big bag here because it has these large containers in it that I found. So this is the one I got for myself. They had it in the shade pink and they had it in the shade green when I was there. There were only a few left. Um, so there might have been others in the collection that that weren't there. Um, they had other things in the collection in other colors like peach and gray so they might have had others but for these boxes at my location they had a green and then this um, pinkish one like rosy mauve. So they're locking lids with a handle. I don't really know what you put in here, but it seems like a nice container for about $25. Um, it doesn't really give any information on the back, it just says storage box. But it's probably like, you might be able to fit a piece of paper in here, just like an 8 by 10 I'm not sure, it's around that size. So I picked up a few of those. And then I picked up another bingo prize. And it was also kind of Valentine's Day theme because it's called Love is in the Air. And it's an adult coloring book. Let's see if I can show this to you. Easily. Yeah. So they're all kind of love related. You know, hearts and cute coloring pages for that. It's kind of small. It says Made in the USA. Anyways, and then they did have these board games in the toy aisle at my Dollar Tree. I only got Battleship. They had a Trouble one and a Sorry. No, not Sorry. Monopoly. I, I was thinking of Trouble. I don't know. So I just got Battleship because I, don't know, I thought that would be the best game I could get for a dollar. I don't really play Monopoly a lot. So, yeah, I might do this as a prize or we might just play it at the party or both, I don't know. Um, so now, I have this big, kind of heavy bag of stuff. I'm sorry if that was loud, but I just kind of made some stuff fall over. So at the Dollar Tree near me, I did find these soft soap refills, so I got one in the lavender scent, even though I didn't need more hand soap. I normally get Bath & Body Works foaming hand soap, but I know there is a way you can refill foaming hand soap containers. I think you just mix it with like some water and you can make foaming hand soap refills. So hopefully I can do that with this because otherwise I might not use it all up. But it smelled really good. Cause I, if you like lavender, you'll like this. And yeah, so that's what I'm hoping to do with it. So it washes away bacteria, liquid hand soap, hypo, hypoallergenic for sensitive skin really good deal and it's 32 ounces okay so that's what was making the bag so heavy I also got this bag got another Dollar Tree so I haven't seen this one before so I picked it up and it was really cute and so I was looking I saw it in someone else's Dollar Tree um, not haul but a walkthrough video that they had some signs like this at Dollar Tree so I was looking for different metal signs and I didn't find any. I did find this love uh, Valentine's Day sign. I don't really like this at all. I'll probably either take this off or just use this other side and 
flip it around and take the bow off. Um, but yeah, I was just looking for like a galvanized heart like this for a collage that I'm doing, not necessarily for Valentine's Day. I can have it up all year round. Um, I picked up one of these. I don't know if I've shared this before. I know I had one from last year that I've never used, but it's a rose infused loofah. So I thought that'd be another cute prize for the party. And, you know, it looks really nice with the packaging and everything. Looks like a thick lupa. Then I got this. These are really thick feeling um, letters. They're thicker than the ones that, you know, you might get on a Dollar Tree sign. So it feels like there's more than one piece in there because it's just so thick. Uh, they had one that said kisses and then I got the one that said XOXO and there are little holes in the top for you to hang it from. I got another one of these makeup vanishing towels. Um, I'll probably give it away but I thought the pink went well with everything for the party. And then they had these um, hot cocoa bombs so it's, it says chocolatey chocolatey hollow filled with mini marshmallows um, so I guess there are mini marshmallows in there but anyways they had heart shaped ones for Valentine's Day and you can even give it as a Valentine's and there's a little spot to write to and from on the back um, so it just says happy Valentine's Day it's just like the ones that they had around Christmas time but it's heart shaped I guess it looks like the bomb is actually heart shaped and it says happy Valentine's Day on it you can see through the glare. So I just got one of those. Um, I can't remember if I shared this in another haul or not, but I got these pink doilies. It's a 30 count of small pink doilies. I might have already shared those. I'm not sure. Um, here's the other wooden heart that I got. So now I have two of those, like I said. Uh, more necklaces. So now I have eight total of those. I got this table scatter. I was looking for stickers that kind of looked like this because I, I know I've seen something like that before. They must have them somewhere. I was looking for, you know, just simple sparkly heart stickers to put around the house. But instead I got this table scatter and I thought I could stick it on where I wanted it. Um, just in random spots for the for decorations and not just table scatter but you get 60 pieces in here for a dollar it's all different size hearts so I was excited to find those because that's one of the reasons I went to Dollar Tree to look for then I got these heart um, headband headband with hearts on it I guess I can wear this for the rest of the video so if you can't really see it in frame but it's okay because my hair is not having a good hair day anyway, so it'll help. Uh, I thought we could do like a picture at the party. You're going to hear me talk a lot about the party. I'll try to save some for the video later, but I thought we could do a photo in all our Valentine's Day festive wear. Um, these are just some Kit Kats. They are wrapped, so I could use them for the charcuterie board, but my husband actually put these in the cart, so I might just give them back to him. And then they had this jewelry, which I have I think I've hauled some other stuff for you guys before, but I found a new necklace. So it says smile. Um, the necklace is supposed to, pa to match up with the packaging, I think. But you can see there, it's literally just like a silver bar necklace so I thought that was really simple and cute and yeah the packaging was cute I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not or um, have it be a bingo prize for the party if no one claims it I'll probably just keep it for myself and then if you heard some jingling that was this they had some with different bells on it that didn't jingle they were heart shaped um, so keep an eye on you know what you're grabbing I almost grabbed the wrong one but it didn't jingle so if you want the sound um, and not the heart shaped bells they have it um, and they had different colors they had like a red one and a hot pink but I got the light pink and the ribbon all had little kisses on it so I love having these things 
on my door. And I like the heart shaped uh, doorknob hole fuel. Okay, I think this is the last thing that's new that I have to share with you guys. So it is another Maybelline lipstick, but it is a different um, line. So it's the Color Sensational Satin Lipstick, and I got it in the shade Romantic Rose. So, really pretty uh, shade name. Sounds like a Valentine's Day shade. I love the packaging because it's purple. If you can see the purple cap. Um, I just opened it because I'm going to try it on for you guys. But it looks like a pretty basic neutrally rose color. So I'm going to wipe off some lipstick. If you see a little cut on my lip, it's because I dropped my phone on my face the other night and I got a cut on my lip. I don't think I've ever tried this line so from Maybelline before, the color is sensational. But it's just like a basic satin bullet lipstick. And just like a really simple neutral uh, matte color. I like the shape, how it's kind of curved like that. It was easy to apply. Yeah, good deal. I probably should have gotten more than one, but I just wanted to try it for myself because I'd never tried that line from Maybelline before and you know it was a good deal again for a dollar twenty five. So that is all and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and if you did please like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for future videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.